Or you can um, tell me about what happened today. There was supposed to be a flag uh, protest and never reached the in never reached the Damascus Gate. What happened exactly? Uh, what happened, unfortunately, is that the police uh, uh, stopped the Israelis uh, and uh, didn't allow them to get close even to the Damascus Gate. Uh, it's very upsetting that uh, in the capital of Israel, imagine uh, in England, in, the, in London, an uh, area will be uh, forbidden just for Jews to enter to a specific area. Uh, imagine in, uh, in Paris, the capital of France, an area that will be restricted, no entrance just for Jews because they are Jews. This is what happened today in, uh, in our capital, uh, our holy capital. Uh, this decision was made by uh, political politicians, uh, the government, the Prime Minister of Israel, Bennett, and uh, the Minister of uh, the Police, Omer Barlev. Um, the parade uh, people, are, thousands of people are, are, arrived, but they were not allowed to get here to Damascus Gate. Uh, I was, I got here like with about 100 people altogether. But unfortunately, the, most of the people didn't arrive here. You know, do you not think it's irresponsible to risk rockets falling on Jerusalem because of this parade? No, look, uh, Arabs they don't need any excuse to send rockets on Israel. They sent uh, more than 12,000 rockets on Israel before uh, anybody talked about uh, Israelis walking with flags in their capital. Uh, and again, imagine, imagine any, any country, any state in the world that the enemy country will tell them, or a terrorist organization will say, if you will walk with your flags in your capital, I will send you rockets, and because of that, you, that this, capi, this, this city, this uh, state, will not <coughs> allow people to walk with flags. It's uh, unacceptable. And uh, as I said, Arabs are sending rockets on Israelis much, much before, and they will continue, because this is their culture. Thank you very much, Ari. Appreciate it.